He's not answering now. He's not answering? No. Yo, Wayne, what are we doing over here, man? Waiting for the client to come out to take care of the car that's right next to us right now. How come we don't get started? Because the last time from the last video, we did the wrong car. <laughs> so, uh, learning from my mistakes and being patient instead of rushing it. I got you. <laughs> so, the detail was at two. We got here at two. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. What are the steps you take? right now i told him i was going to be here at two we confirmed so if anything he should be out here since that's not the case i waited 15. i gave him a text wait a couple more minutes and then give him a call mm. he seemed bothered when i called him oh you called him before getting here and he seemed a little bothered like but that's how some people sound yeah so i'm gonna just call him let them know we're out here. Is that him? Gotta be. Hello? Hey, just wanna let you know we're out back. Okay, I'll let someone to to get the okay. Okay, sure. thank you. Bye. So we're gonna be working in the garage, thank God. So, should be one of these that's gonna be opening pretty soon. And I've actually, uh, this is my second time coming back here. So this is the North Highlands area, just the area that I run, that I rank first. And um, it's nice to get the companies that are two minutes down the street from me. It's great to know that you're right next door to home when you finish and just go back, get the band ready for the next day. So, yeah. Now, when waiting for a customer, how long do you wait? Until it's like, what, you go knocking at their door or do you just leave? I knock at the door too. I mean, it all depends on how much the detail is, how many details you have that day, how crunched you are for time. If I'm not that busy and things are spaced accordingly, you know, I'll wait as long as 20, 30 minutes if I don't have a, a real busy day. And um, that's about it, man, yeah. Let me know what you guys would do, situations you guys been in you guys have been in. I mean, it's rare that I run into something to where nobody's there and they just leave me hanging. I think that's happened about two or three times. I think that's somebody that's, they're supposed, supposed to be open in the garage. Yeah. yeah. I got you, man, I got you though. So, 20, 30 minutes. That's still too long though. Yeah. What's the next detail after this? After this? Oh, this is it. That's it for today? Everything else um, got pushed to different days. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. So you did have time to wait? Yeah, I got time to wait right now. It's the last one. Yeah. So what we do, we did, that was four? Nah. You, that was three? Yeah, four, four. That was four? Yeah. Four, you did a touch up, like, touch up. So we did four today. Oh. Yep, it was supposed to be six. Um, we lost one due to conflict of time, and then the other two got pushed uh, to another day. Yo, wait, I thought you said the guy said what's up already. I called him again, and he said that he's gonna open the garage. Tell one of his employees that hasn't happened. This is one of the situations right here. It's already been 30 minutes. Hey, I'm just curious, as a detailer, is that an extra fee or do you rush it? How do you make up for it? <sighs> As you're speaking about this, I'm thinking about this right now because I've never had to charge extra for a fee, but it should be, that's time is money. At this point, I'm, I'm getting there ready to just go back to the shop because it's right down the street. And was it the maintenance? No. Let me see, let me see what it is. First of all, I need to go buy a hat, bro. This hat is, that's from all that sweat. Oh, tip, Rez, coat your hats. If you got fabric uh, coating, if you spray the fabric coating on it all around, it repels it against your sweat. 
I forgot to coat this one. Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. So this detail was 250. And it's the shampoo? Inside and out. Inside and out. First time customer? Second time. And it's the same vehicle I cleaned last time. You think maybe he just... I think... Super busy? I think he forgot to either call or he forgot, the employees forgot to open the gate. I think I'll just ride him. I think I'm gonna let it go. I'm done. Right now I'm at the point to where I'm, I'm done for the day. It's already been 30 minutes. It's already been 30 minutes and I called him three times already. And he was not giving you attitude, but you could tell he was yeah, he was a little, yeah, hey, I'll, I'll be there at two. That sounds great. All right. Two, got here, not here, texted him, then called him again, and still, like, dang. I'm going to do one more lap around honking my horn. What would you do in this situation? I'm a type of person, I don't, I don't like to bother. And from my, the conversations, it feels as if I'm bothering him when he booked me. We got to so, get up out of here. If he ain't going to come, to, he ain't going to come. We gonna leave. <laughs> this too. He's not answering now. He's not answering. No. Sheesh. Well, I guess, bro. That's it. I guess so. I could be spending this time working on my website or something. Oh. All right. Let's go back to the shop. Hey, Wayne. So. That's it, man. He didn't hit you back up. That's at it. all? No. I think somebody took the car home. I think that Toyota Highlander that was next to us, yeah. he ended up taking it and mm -hmm. going home. I think that was it. But I think it was just a miscommunication because he wasn't there. Mm. So they were on a different page and then he was on a different. So the guy was just like, I got to go. He don't know how to tell me that, hey, he has to go. So he just ignored me. So stuff yeah. like that is rare that that happens. That's why we take deposits, which I didn't get one. Sadly. So you're done? That's a, that's a wrap, man. All right, has this ever happened to you guys? How do you guys handle it? Every now and then, I will, I say 65% of the time I take deposits and uh, most of the time I'm just slacking, I guess. And I wish I would've got my deposit on that one, but you win some, you lose some, man. It's all good. But um, I'm gonna take this time to work on my website. You still here, Turf 5? Yeah, we're gonna work on the website and continue to grow. Um, comment down below if you guys have any info for me. Um, like, share, subscribe. You already know what to do with it. Let's go.